today I got a new smartwatch. My old one failed the swimming test. Mibro A1, the latest smartwatch manufactured by a Shanghai-based company called Mibro, which main investors is Chinese giant Xiaomi. In today's video, I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the Mibro A1. I'm going to do a few real-life tests. I'll challenge its heart rate accuracy as well as oxygen saturation level. This is something I couldn't find on any other reviews all over YouTube, so I had to do it myself. I even traveled to Italy to check the A1 steps accuracy and to check if it's really waterproof as the manufacturer claims. I will also discuss through the main features of this good looking smartwatch, so stay with me. Hi, what's up guys? My name is Adam and you're watching Family Pop TV YouTube channel. First, let's check what's in the box. Inside we can find the watch itself, a manual and a warranty card and the USB charging cradle. The A1 has a catchy rounded design. The watch has an anodized aluminium case with a reinforced glass screen. It looks like the Halo RT2 been crossed with the Polar Vantage M1. The design is also a resemblance of the Xiaomi Mi Watch, which is a good thing in my opinion, considering Mibro is a sub-brand of Xiaomi. The bottom line is, the A1 certainly doesn't look like a typical $30 worth cheap watch. It has a soft silicon wrist strap of good quality, it certainly will last long. It sits on my wrist comfortably and over nearly 2 months of use of this watch I haven't had any issues with skin irritation or such. Obviously you can customize the look of your A1 by replacing the 22mm bands of your choice. I like the leather straps as it adds more premium look to my A1. To replace a wrist strap you don't need any tools, just pull the little pin here, remove the strap, put the new one between the locks of the watch, pull the pin, it clicks and here we go. Just remember the replacement straps have to be 22mm wide. There are Amazon links in this video description where you can find some nice looking alternative straps for your A1. If we flip the watch we can find a 3 axis G sensor for the heart rate combined with an infrared sensor for SPO2 tracking. Here are the magnetic charging pins where you could plug in the charging cradle. There are two buttons at the right side of the case, the upper one wakes up the screen and it's also a home button. The lower button gets us to the sports menu where we could find 20 sports modes which we'll discuss later in the video. You can change the functions on the lower button in the watch settings. The display itself is a nice looking 1.21 inch IPS display with a resolution of 265 pixels per inch. Here's just a quick comparison with the different types of the screens. Let's take one of the best selling budget smartwatches on Amazon in 2021. The LW11, the Mibro A1, is a bit brighter than the TFT display used in LW11. However, the A1's IPS display isn't as good and bright as AMOLED. Here's a visual comparison between the A1 and one of my favorite watches, TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS. The difference is obvious, but take into consideration this is totally different technology. Obviously, AMOLED is newer, more efficient and more expensive screen than IPS LCD. You might feel the smartwatch has an edge-to-frame display, but it's not. It has a 4mm bezel around the display. It has nice and vivid colors, but it's definitely not one of the brightest displays. The visibility of the screen drops when you look at it under the direct sunlight. The brightness is obviously adjustable. It has 5 steps and I always got it to the max. And just to clarify, this is not always on display. However, it lights up automatically when you move your wrist up. You can customize the watch face or change built-in watch faces for new styles. Simply press and hold the screen for about 2 seconds and flip through preloaded dials. I'll show you how to load more dials and create your own wallpapers via the companion app later in this video. The smartwatch has an IP68 water resistant design, so in order to verify if the watch would be suitable to use in the swimming pool, I travelled to Italy and obviously you've been wearing my A1 in the swimming pool. I tested this guy in the sea, in the pool and it was all fine. The A1 was submerged in the water for a couple of hours and as you can see, it survived the challenge. So you could obviously wear this watch while you're swimming. 
It also has a swimming sports mode where you can measure length, time, calories burned, and it automatically locks on the display so the water won't interfere with the readings. And that's great. It's very well thought. Well done, Mibro. Talking sports modes, the Mibro A1 offers the assortment of 20 sports monitoring modes, which includes treadmill, running, cycling, walking, just mentioned swimming, trekking, roller skating, football, badminton, weightlifting, etc. etc. There's a total of 20 sport modes. However, the watch doesn't have a built in GPS, which means when you turn on the different sports modes like running or biking, it won't track your GPS position. So with that being said, let's look at the accuracy tracking of the pedometer in Mibro A1. And before we carry on, make sure you're subscribed. I've been testing the watch step count using a manual tally counter. When I've been to Naples, I have done exactly 1000 steps, manually clicking the tally counter for each step. The A1 step count was pretty decent, nearly spot on, for manually clicked 1000 steps for various lengths, walking with various speeds, the A1 captured 990 steps, which gives us 99% of step accuracy. And that's not bad, I'm really happy with it. To maximize the accuracy, you'll have to enter your correct details, such as age, weight and height within the personal profile in the companion app. The A1 can track the heart rate continuously 24 hours a day, but let's check out how accurate the heart rate and the SpO2 measurements actually are. I'm comparing the Mibro A1's reading with the NHS approved medical pulse oximeter. In the first test, Mibro A1 measured my heart rate at 71 beats per minute, exactly the same as the oximeter, but I'm rested now, so it's not very challenging. I'll make it a bit harder, several press ups to raise my heart rate, then we will see how the A1 will cope with my increased heart rate. The watch has a bit of a struggle catching up, obviously the oximeter shows the reading straight away. The Mibro A1 finally shows 91 beats per minute which is exactly the same as oximeter. This is pretty amazing. Right, the SpO2, known as blood saturation level. Again, I'll use the oximeter for the comparison. Here we got 98% uh, on both devices, which is about right. As you can see, the Mibro A1 measurements are very close to the readings of the medical device. But don't forget, the watch isn't a medical grade device, so these readings should be taken only as a reference. The A1 uses Mibro Fit Companion app that you install on your phone, which is where you set and control most of the functionality of the watch. MibroFit app itself is a simplistic tool for tracking the activity and health stats. You'll have to scan a QR code with your smartphone or just type MibroFit in the Apple Store or Google Play as the app is compatible with both iOS and Android. During the setup, make sure you got Bluetooth turned in your phone, but do not connect the watch from Bluetooth screen. You'll have to do it directly from the app and the app only. Once you add the device, just confirm the pairing request and don't forget to confirm allow notifications as this will push the data from your phone into the watch. By the way, the A1 shows all the notifications from the phone, for example, text messages, social apps messages, info messages from the apps. The watch also shows you the incoming calls. However, you can't pick the incoming call as the watch hasn't got a microphone and a speaker built in. So you can only drop the incoming call. The main menu in Mibro A1, we have a list that combines a little icons and text. However, the menu and the buttons are not customizable. When you swipe the main screen to the right, we got here a daily stats screen. Next is a heart rate measuring, then music control, and this works when the phone is connected with the A1, so you can switch between the songs in your phone and change the volume. Next is a weather indication. This also works only when the A1 is connected with your phone. Next is a sleep tracking. I'm here, the A1 fails a bit, often measured only a fraction of my sleep, sometimes not even triggers the sleep, which makes it totally unreliable when it comes to sleep measurements. So if the accurate sleep tracking is vital to you, I reckon the Mibro A1 isn't the right watch. The much better option would be for example Fitbit Versa 3 or Fitbit Sense. 
The i1 also has a bunch of other useful features, such as alarm clock, find phone feature, stopwatch, countdown timer, and one or two minutes breathing exercise, which is nothing more than respiratory minute volume, which helps to calm down and help to reduce the carbon dioxide levels within the body. It also has metabolic equivalent measurements, known as MET. The A1 has a 270 mAh battery which lasts around 12 days when the watch is constantly paired with the smartphone. And this includes the heart rate monitor running in the background 24 hours a day. That's not bad. If I would disconnect the A1 from the phone and let it run in the standalone mode, the battery would last nearly a month. But obviously, to enjoy the full potential of the watch, I have it constantly paired with my iPhone. As I mentioned earlier, now I'll show you how to change the watch face in your A1. First, open the companion app, go to device and tap watch faces. There's a selection of around 100 watch faces to choose from. Personally, I think half of the watch faces available here for download are just useless. Mebro should give us some more effort, making the watch faces looking more professional. You can also create your own watch face using any photo or picture from your phone. To do so, you need to pick the photo, scale it, crop it and pick the best looking font and colour of the font and send it to the watch. Guys, if you've got any questions about it, just leave it in the comments below. Certainly myself or other users will be able to help here. Some of you often asking in the comments, can you use the watch without your phone? Well, yes and no, because when you first get your A1, it requires the phone to set it up. For example, time and date. Once this is done, you might leave it connected so it will work as an extension of your phone. But you might also disconnect the Bluetooth, so then the watch will work as a standalone device. Honestly, after using this Mibro A1 for over two months, I realized that this smartwatch already serves me more than enough. No, I'm not asking you to buy the Mibro A1 smartwatch particularly, as there are plenty of great smartwatches in the market, but if your budget is a little tight and you want the best of the best smartwatch, then you should definitely check out the Mibro A1. We got some affiliate links in this video description. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it pretty informative and useful. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed so you won't miss when the next video comes out. Thanks everyone, that was Adam and you watched Family Pop TV.